Hey Lavish fam, welcome back to another vlog. Um, anyway, today is it's Wednesday and um, I just got home from work and when I got home I realized that Kai's bed frame was delivered today and it wasn't scheduled to be here until like next week I think they said like the 12th or 13th so it came earlier than expected which I'm not complaining about but now I need to really, really, really <laughs> finish his nightstand so I can start like going over to their house to pull his room together. Um, so yeah, I need to do that. And so that's what I'm planning to do today. So I came, once I saw it was delivered, I'm like, let me go upstairs, take off my scrubs and put on some paint clothes. So I need to go to the garage, finish this, the sanding as well as my plan is to, um, prime and then tomorrow once I come home I plan to just go ahead and at least get it painted um so that way I can start pulling his room together I also will be refurbing his dresser I just gotta find the time my schedule doesn't just does not work well with Ariel's schedule I can always go in and do it when she's not there but yeah Anyway, 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 let me just keep on. So, um, because what I, I've been sitting here and thought too much, and next thing you know, I don't do anything. But I want to show y'all what, because I show at the end of the last vlog, I was showing you all that I was making these jars for my friend, and I didn't show you the final look of the jars. So, let me show you that, and then I also have, you're probably like, all these and thens, and thens. So, after um, I show you the jars, I have a package so let me show you the jars because they look so good let me show you she loves them by the way I sent her a picture so I'm just turning them around so you can see them okay so let me show you so here's here's the jars Attach this on there as the knob. Yeah, so that's what they look like. Um, like I said, I sent her a picture and she absolutely loves them. So that's what they look like. So you actually have to put the top back on this one. Okay. Okay, so this is the box that I received. So y'all know how I was talking about blue clues and how um, every time I'd be like, you know, the whole like I got a package or I got something and I was like seeing how he used to say, we just got a letter. The next day I was in the car and for some reason they just started talking about like him and they were singing the same song and they were saying how the reason why he quit doing the show is because he was going bald and he didn't want to go bald on a kid's show so he asked them could he just shave his head and they were like no and he was just like you know I'm not going to like you know just gradually go bald on TV and he was losing hair like rapidly so when they told him no that he could not shave his head you know just and come back on the next the episode with a bald head he quit sure did quit and shaved his head the next day and now they're doing a blues clues like tr like travel type of show and guess who's on there steve yeah with his bald head <laughs> so anyway that was just my little spiel because it's funny how i talked about him and then the next day i'm in the car and they're talking about him weird weird so anyway all right so 
All right, y'all. This is what is in the box. It's a Louis Vuitton box. So. Okay. This is what the box looks like. Let me um move the box. Let me move this stuff around so that I can set up the camera a little bit better so you all can see. So, hold please. Okay. So, like I said, this is the box. Okay. It comes with all of your information. Um, it has a Louis Vuitton like ribbon in here and just some like packaging information. Let me stop joking around because y'all took me seriously when I said it was written in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is in China. Okay. It is in China. The writing is in Chinese. I, you know, but anyway, it's in Chinese. Um, it do have, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it is, it's not in Hong Kong, it's in Chinese, but anyway, um, but yeah, it just comes with like basically just a receipt and all that type of stuff, just showing you like how much it costs in Hong Kong dollars, and it's in this book. I don't, I don't know. This is in multiple languages. But anyway, um, this bag was sent to me by Type 1. Um, I've received stuff from them before and I've linked them before. So this is just another collab that I'm doing with Type 1. And I will have all of that information in the description box. Um, so yes, once again, it came nicely packaged. It comes with the plastic over the bag. And then it comes inside of a dust bag. It comes in another plastic bag. They are they protect their stuff really, really, really well. Okay, so then it comes like this. Has like um, plastic on the handle as well as on the back back here on the zipper. And this is what it looks. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. This right here is just a crossbody strap. It comes once again very, very protected. And then it has multiple openings on the inside, one there, a bigger compartment, and then this regular compartment in the front. So three different compartments to put your things. And then it just snaps right here in the front. And then you could just push it together to unlock it. So that's what it looks like. And then the back has a zipper back here for you to put things in. Okay. And then inside the box, there is just a, another like a Louis Vuitton bag. That comes in there and like I said this was from Taekwon. one um, Amani's birthday is um, on the 12th so um, you'll see me surprise her when I see her with this purse so um, yeah thank you so much Taekwon, one for sending me this or like I said once again I will be linking everything in the description box below if you guys are interested um, I did receive it very, very quickly, even though it did come from China, uh, from Hong Kong, it shipped really, really quickly. Um, I know before when you would order things from, you know, overseas, uh, it will take a little bit of time. But lately I've noticed that it's not been even a good two weeks from the day that they sent that they sent it and it's coming really, really fast. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to wrap this back up and then I'm going to go to the garage. So I'll see you guys in the garage in just a bit.
priming is done I've primed all three um, of the pieces and even though I use a quick dry and prime so that the one on the end probably even this one may be dry by now I'm still calling it a night because I'm hungry and I have a long day of work tomorrow uh, or not long but pretty busy it's a busy day tomorrow so I'm gonna go ahead call it a night take me a shower and have some dinner and I will show you guys what these look like tomorrow. Um, I probably won't like vlog me painting them because you see me paint once, you see me paint, you seen anybody paint. So I will definitely show you what they look like tomorrow because I will be finishing them tomorrow. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. You can see I'm in the office. It's about 10:30 in the morning. Hold on, I look a little bit out of focus. Okay. And as usual, I've been up working. Um, so my plans for today is um Putting the finishing touches on these nightstands. So Ariel came over yesterday on her day off and actually painted them. Um, then she took me, when I got off work, she took me to dinner. Me and Kai to dinner and then we went to Hobby Lobby. And oh my goodness, Hobby Lobby has such cute stuff. I wanted to just buy all of the Christmas stuff, but I refrained. But I think I'm going to go back. <laughs> they had these really pretty... Um, joy um throw pillows and i just was like oh my goodness they are gorgeous and they, they're um christmas and fall stuff is 50 percent off so i think i might end up going back and getting those pillows because i just love them and i'm also thinking that i'm going to change out the throw pillows upstairs in the loft because the ones that came with the couch are just so like after you lay on them a while they just or whatever sit on the couch for a while they just don't form back like when you move them it's just so stiff so I think I'm gonna end up changing those out as well but anyway I'm gonna go out here check these nice stands well we're gonna go out here and check these nice stands see if they need any more touching up and then I need to poly them poly coat them poly acrylic or whatever so that that way 
you know, it's kind of protected. So with that being said, let's just get to it because I want to get in these streets. <laughs> um, Dante, is, he came up yesterday as well. So um, we'll also be taking Kai's bed and all of that stuff over to Ariel's at some point this weekend. So I can start on his room um, over there. But for now, we're going to go check these nightstands. All right. Ariel's fashion. She left the paint with her. Let's see what she did here. Okay. Um, she ended up painting her as black too. I thought she was going to go with gray, but she didn't. Which I was shocked because her bed is gray and in her like dresser. Maybe that's what it is because I think she's also going to be changing out her her covers to a different color. But so far they look pretty good. They do. They look pretty good. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the poly coat on them so that they can dry and we can take them over to her house or her apartment. But yeah, they look pretty good. So let me go ahead and do that so Dante and I can get in these streets. <laughs> this area looks like it needs a little something right here. But okay, I will be back, guys. Okay, so I was wrong. The more I look at them, the closer I get, I realize that they do need an actual whole nother coat because there's just um I think she must have only done one coat, but I think I need to do just another coat on them. So that's what I'm going to do uh, really quickly. And then I'll have to wait for them to dry before I can poly them. So, oh, well, I like painting. So, all right, I'll be back, guys. All right, so while the nightstands are drying, um, I just finished putting that coat on them. I wanted to show you. I came home yesterday and Ariel had uh, put some extra pillows on the porch so I wanted to show you what they look like aren't those cute <laughs> it says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes so she put those out there yesterday and I just thought it was super cute to kind of bring in more of the fall decor and they match really well with everything else and I was like that's so sweet of her so yeah that's what those two look like so you see if this one kind of matches with the um, buffalo um, plaid and then that one is plain to match up with that one so I just thought that was super cute that one just says pumpkin patch but super super cute but I wanted to show you because well that's what I do I share everything <laughs> all right hey so Dante and I just came back from running to errands um, Hobby Lobby and Walmart <laughs> because we have decided we're going to try to probably um, put Kai's bed together this weekend while Dante's here um, to help me because you know I ain't supposed to be lifting nothing heavy. <laughs> but you, uh, So he's just basically trying to make sure I follow those rules. Um, so anyway, as you can see, I got a package and I think I know what it is. So, and it's perfect timing because it's a surprise for Dante. Okay, so, um, I don't know if you all know this, but um, when it comes to buying Jordans, it's pretty hard to get them. Like, when they come out, they only release so many pairs at a time. And it was a pair of Jordans that I knew that Dante had wanted, but because he has a common size uh, shoe, Every time he looked someplace, they would be sold out. So, um, <clears throat> he had been trying to get them for a while, and they was constantly sold out. So, when this company called Ace Shoe reached out to me, 
and I'll have everything linked below with their discount code. I instantly started looking, when I was looking at their website, I saw the actual shoe that Dante really wanted. So, I was like, oh my goodness. I, I was like, he would love <laughs> these shoes. So, I'm trying to get them out of the box. <laughs> um, so, I wanted to surprise him. And then since he was here, it's tight. They got these in here nice and snug. <laughs> so, I could not pass up the opportunity to get these shoes for Dante. I just, I just couldn't because I knew he would love them. So, let's get his reaction. So, hold please. Hey Dante, can you come in the office for a second? Yeah. Um, I need you to sit right there. Right here. Yeah, right there. Well, I'm being interrogated. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you smiling like a, a freaking weirdo? Because <laughs> you got me sitting here like a weirdo. I got you something. A surprise. I like it. Ooh. Mm. What's that? What's that? What's that? On the top. What was that? Okay, that is the website in the Instagram for the company, ASU, our RU. Instagram is at ASU7. Okay, alrighty, keep going. Cool Grace. Oh, oh yeah. Do they look good? Yeah, they look real good. Really, really good, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. That's what you think. You look nice. You look real nice. I'm ready to wear them. <laughs> you ready to wear them? Mm. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like them. Yeah, they get a really good job on these. Yeah? You know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for replicas? Yeah, absolutely. They did a really good job. He's nice. <laughs> Alright, well, I just wanted to capture your reaction and see how you like them and your thoughts because, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so. I mean, obviously, like an expert would probably be able to tell, but, like, I mean, like somebody looking at my feet that close. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean everything looks just like the the ones you get over pay over on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are really nice. They did a good job on these. Okay. Alright guys, so you heard it from Nate himself that the shoes that were sent to me from Ace Shoe looks really really close to the original i will link all of their information in the description box if you're thinking they have all types of shoes too all types of um jordans you know air force ones just all types of shoes so if you're interested in any of them i will link everything below as well as my discount code and you guys can surprise your man or even buy yourself some so all right, I'm going to take a break for just a second to regroup because I just ate. <laughs> and I'll be back. Dante and I tried the shoes on. They fit perfectly, and he is loving them. <laughs> so that's what they look like, y'all. Excuse my background because that's where Kai's bed and stuff is. And I want to keep it close to the door so we can just take it out of here. But that's it. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday. Saturday. So 
it's Saturday and it's like 8 a.m. Um, I'm up and dressed because uh, best friend on his way over and he's gonna have a lot of energy. Um, Ariel has to work this morning so we're on a uh, grandparents duty and I decided I would get up and then let Dante sleep a little bit longer because um, he stays up later than I do um, so yeah um, I'm gonna finish these nightstands today <laughs> I am about to go to the garage and poly coat these nightstands right now right now right now because they have been sitting for way too long um, and um, yeah I, I, I don't know why it's taking me so long, but it is. It, it's taking me way too long. Um, so, I'm going to do that right now while I'm waiting on best friend to get here. So, yeah, let's wrap this up. Look who just got here. Hey, Steve. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. You want to have a good day today? Mm-hmm. Okay, you tell mommy bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. You say hi? Hi. hi. You say hi? Hi to the subscribers? Uh-huh. What, what they supposed to do down below? Um, it's good down below. <laughs> Y'all, I'm finally done with these nice hands. The poly coat just needs to dry. It is a fast um, drying poly coat or polyurethane. What's the name of this stuff? It's Memwax Fast Drying Polyurethane. It's like a clear protectant or whatever. So um, I'm, feeling, I'm finally finished. And they're going to just sit here and dry for some hours. And then um, I'm probably going to lightly dust them just to kind of, um, because that's what it suggests, a light dusting or a light, um, light, light sandpaper. So I'll probably take a sandpaper and just kind of, you know, very lightly on the top of it when they're completely dry. But either way, they are finally done. Let me turn around and let y'all see because they got a really nice sheen to them. That's what they look like. And then I'll show you what they look like in Ariel's place, in Kai's room, and things like that because we're going to be pulling that together. But what I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to end this vlog um, because I got so many other things that I want to do today. And I want to be able to get this vlog out by Sunday. And also I want to start on Kai's bedroom while Dante is here to be able to take the bed and the mattress over to Ariel's place. So, like Kai said, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys <laughs> uh, later today. Alright, have a good day. Bye.